Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Last night I went along to a public information session on solar panels and batteries in my local area. It was run by an organization called Our Energy Future. It uh, seems like they've been around for about five years from Melbourne originally, but now they're in Sydney and they help over 13 councils in uh, Sydney apparently to help their residents come on board with solar and batteries. Now I took some notes so I could share with you all the stuff that I learned from that session. It was actually quite helpful and uh, quite useful and I learned a couple of things. The lady that uh, gave the talk was quite good. She um, started off with some statistics uh, and then she talked about um, uh, how to buy solar panels and what to look out for. Um, they also had a local resident who uh, gave a real life example. Um, they also had somebody from the real estate industry and um, she talked about how um, solar panels can help um, the value of your property and how you can it can help sell your house quicker as well and um, and then they t gave a little bit of information about batteries as well which I will talk about later on. Uh, about 1.8 million Australian homes have solar power. Queensland is the highest uptake not surprisingly 30% of homes there have solar. New South Wales is 17.7, WA 26.6, .6, Victoria 21% so I'm surprised that New South Wales is not um, one of the higher ones. Uh, the cost of solar has dropped 58% in the last five years. Ten years ago, f a five kilowatt system would have cost $40,000, so that's 2008, it would have cost $40,000. Today in 2018, she said that a five kilowatt system can, uh, be, sell can be bought for $6,500, so it's come down dramatically in five years. And um, she said that solar payback was about three to seven years in Sydney, depending on your situation. Uh, with solar, the average bill is fourteen hundred and forty dollars per annum whereas without solar it's about two thousand four hundred dollars per annum so with solar you're saving about a thousand dollars per annum for the average household assuming your daily use is at 25 kilowatt hours per day so she was saying that it's about 30 to 60 percent saving on your electricity bill we had a resident come up and talk to us as well um, from the local area so um so he he's got a pool pump like myself um, and it certainly changed his pattern of usage, whereas in the past he would use his pool pump at night to take advantage of the off-peak um, electricity tariff, but now he uses it during the day to take advantage of solar power, of course, which is free. There was information about how solar panels actually work, so um, inverters are important. It converts the DC energy from the solar panels to AC to power the rest of your house. So um, how, do, how does it actually save money, solar panels? Well, number one, you're buying less electricity from the grid and you're also um, providing a feed-in tariff to the grid so you're um, gaining money uh, as a rebate from the grid in that way. So we had that real estate um, representative come up. As I said, she talked about how solar panels can benefit your property. Uh, so apparently there's something called uh, a livability features index, which I didn't know about, but um, I put up a slide for you to, to show you what she showed us. Um, and it's apparently, solar panels is apparently one of the 17 uh, criteria they look at now for this livability index, which is quite new still, but, um, but it's certainly apparently being implemented more and more. If you're selling your house, apparently she said to ask about this index. She said solar panels is one of the few criteria to help reduce sale time. It also helps with um, affordability that buyers look for, not just to buy the house, but also to live in the house long term. Uh, how expensive is your house to run? Um, and PV is, is one of those features. And she said market research shows that houses with solar panels um, sell for 10% more, which is quite incredible, and they sell 13 days quicker than average. So again, that's, that's worth looking into. So the 5 kilowatt system is the most commonly installed system in Australia, which is uh, understandable given that uh, 25 kilowatt hours is the average usage per household across the year for most Australian households. Then the next thing that was talked about was um, the warranty. A good solar panel um, system has a warranty of 25 years for its performance. Um, and most, well, the good panels will have a 10-year product warranty. She is saying that it's more important to get a longer product warranty because the performance warranty is harder to, to gauge and she says it's more of a marketing tool. Um, it's harder to claim that efficiency and look out for a company that's tier one. And what does tier one mean? They have tiers based on the financial viability of the manufacturer. Tier one companies have the best financial situations. Uh, lower tiers obviously are not so good. 
Um, there is a higher chance the company will be around longer as well with their tier one. I put up a slide here that she showed us uh, regarding reputable solar companies. She's saying obviously the more reputable companies will have more expensive panels, but they'll have longer product warranties and better performance per panel as well. So meaning instead of a panel being 250 watts, they might be up to 300 watts per panel. So something to watch out for. A budget panel is okay still, but be aware of buying a budget inverter. If you're going to compromise on either panel or inverter, uh, better to compromise on the panel. Uh, better to get a better inverter and steer clear of the Chinese made inverters as well. Chinese made panels apparently are okay, she said, but inverters are not so good. There's two types of inverters. There's a string inverter and a micro inverter. Uh, a string inverter is the older type of inverter. inverters. It links your panels in series, so if there is one point of failure, so if one of the panels is damaged, then the efficiency of that panel goes down, but also drags the efficiency of all the panels down as well at the same time. If one panel is shaded, then the whole system will be shaded, or it will look shaded, and your efficiency will go down as well. Micro inverters haven't been around as long as string inverters, and they're more suitable for shaded areas. Um, so each panel will have a, a little micro inverter in, installed in the panel itself. So even if one panel is damaged or shaded, it, it doesn't affect the efficiency of the whole system. Uh, obviously, the microinverter system is more expensive because there's so many of them. Um, but string inverters have been around a bit longer, so uh, they're more reliable, I guess, from that point of view. More tried and true and tested. Uh, look out for a 10-year warranty for inverters. Um, some of the cheaper ones only last about three to four years, so she said beware of those. The next point was about choosing the right size. So... Uh, it really depends on your roof space and your electricity bill. Um, that's what the companies will look at to estimate how many panels you will need. Um, she said it's better to install a bigger system. Like uh, we said before, a cost of a 5 kilowatt system is about $6,000 to $8,000. Uh, there's something in Australia um, called STCs, and that's basically a rebate for the solar panels. Um, the more panels you buy, the, the bigger the rebate, obviously. But um, this is something I didn't know. STCs uh, are going down by 7% every single year until the year 2030. So that made me sit up in my seat um, during the lecture and, and I think I'll get some more panels based on that information. I didn't realize they were going down that fast every year. So uh, watch this space. I'll get some more panels and make a video on that. How to find the right supplier. A few things to look out for and I guess this is good advice for any supplier of anything you want to buy really. Um, look for longevity. So how long have they been around in the market? Look for their track record. Look for online reviews. Um, obviously, bad reviews are more prevalent, but if there's a lot of bad reviews, then, you know, uh, be wary of that. Um, and there's something called a Clean Energy Council. Um, it's an accreditative body, and um, make sure they're accredited as well as a retailer. Right, so next point was getting a quote. Installers look online using a, um, a website called Near Maps, and they look at shading data throughout the day for your house. Looks at the tilt of your roof, looks at the orientation of your house, and that will determine... Uh, how many panels you should get for your house. Um, have a think about how many appliances you run during the day, you know, fridge, oven, washing machine, all those kind of things. Uh, and also it depends on how often you are home during the day. And then the final point, which you didn't talk much on before the question and answer session, was about batteries. I was um, not surprised when she said that now is not the time to get a battery. Uh, I'll come back to that in a second, but um, she said there were 13,000 homes in Australia with batteries. That's um, quite impressive, actually. I didn't think there were that many, but obviously Tesla is the big, um, big, big sort of player in this market, but there are other companies as well, obviously, like Sonnen, LG, they make batteries too. Um, so the over overall take-home message I got from that um, segment on batteries was that um, she said that the payback time is very close to the warranty, which I've... Um, if you've watched my videos, I've, I've done a video on the payback time on a battery and then the battery in a 5 kilowatt system. And she's right, the payback time is very similar to the warranty, which is 10 years on most batteries. So her recommendation and the association's recommendation is to wait a couple more years until they come down in price, which is fair enough if you're looking at it from a financial point of view. Um, so I guess people are hedging on the fact that uh, batteries will come down in price. So things to do to prepare for a battery is one, invest in a larger solar system. And if you're not um, if you're not getting a battery yet, invest in a solar monitoring. So you can, one, monitor how much you're using during the day. And also it helps you reduce your energy use as well. And I've certainly found that when, with my solar um, electricity monitoring with my battery. 
So uh, there's some good points there. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, I certainly lot, learnt a lot during my session there last night with this um, with this talk by the council. And I guess the take home message is uh, get as many panels as you can afford, get a better inverter, um, monitor your electricity usage, and with regards to batteries, from a financial point of view, uh, not quite ready yet uh, to, to break even, I guess, because it's so close to the warranty period. Um, I guess the talk was handy because it, it came to you from a financial point of view, from an economics point of view, you know, uh, rather than talking about sustainability and environmental, because I guess not everybody's into that, and that's fine. Um, people are more concerned about the, the hip hip pocket um, and their wallet size and um, and how much it will save them in the long run, which is fair enough, and I think that needs to be balanced, needs to be balanced with um, your views on sustainability as well. It's got to be economically viable in the long term. So I thought that was very well run by an organization called Our Energy Future, and I put the website up for you in the description so you can have a look yourself. And thank you to my local council as well for organising that. All right, well, it's a lovely winter's day here in Sydney. Hope it's lovely where you are as well. Um, hope you've enjoyed our new intro and there'll be a new outro as well, uh, just to celebrate us getting closer to a 1,000 subscribers. And uh, thank you very much for all for your support over the last six months and there'll be many more videos to come. Have a lovely day where you are and as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use our promo code on screen to score free unlimited supercharging. Happy charging!